Hello everyone, I'm the Apple expert Hideki. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to review an airplane with a distinctive style. I'd like to introduce the 172 Sub Vegan JA37 Swedish Air Force Force Air Wing Force and Base Retired 2005 Number 52-4 from Aviation 72. The Saab 33 Vigen is a Swedish single-seat, single-engine, short-medium-range combat aircraft. Development work on the type was initiated at Saab in 1952 and following the selection of a vertical delta wing configuration. It was the first canard design produced in quantity. Several distinct variants of the Vigen were produced to perform the roles of Strike Fighter AJ-37, Aerial Reconnaissance SF-37, Maritime Patrol Aircraft SH-37, and a Twin Seat Trainer SK-37. In the late 1970s, the All-Weather Fighter Interceptor Aircraft JA-37 variants was introduced. In November 2005, the Viking was retired from service by the Swedish Air Force. The only operator have been replaced by the newer Saab JAS-39 Gripen. Basic research on the successor to Sweden's flagship fighter, the J-35 Joachim, was conducted from 1952 to 1957. Following on from the previous token, it was required to be able to operate even if major airbase lost their capabilities due to a nuclear attack. It was usually stored in a shelter and had excellent stall properties that allowed it to take off even from the temporary runway, such as a highway in an emergency. Furthermore, in order to prevent the temporary runway from being damaged by high temperature jet exhaust, it was prevented with harsher specifications than Dwarken, such as the ability to take off and wand as a small angle of attack, extended cruising range, and mouth blowing. Saab fished with the world's first double delta wing plane into practical use at Joachim, chose to add a small, high set canard to the double delta wing, which was once again unprecedented at the time. Since the large area canard itself constantly generated lift, it can be said to be a kind of tandem wing aircraft. This aerodynamic design 
would be judged to be the best means to satisfy the conflicting demands for stall performance, supersonic speed, low turbulence sensitivity as a low level flight, and efficient lift for subsonic flight. Canard aircraft have since become common in fighter aircraft, notably with the Eurofighter Typhoon, Dassault Rafale, Sub JAS 39 Gripen, etc. But they were principally for the purpose for providing agility during flight, rather than for its stall capabilities. In addition, in order to shorten the landing run distance, Begin had a thrust reversal, which is extremely usual for an air superiority fighter, and have achieved a sudden breaking of about 500 meters. If this thrust reversal is operated on the ground, Begin can also move backward on its own. The only jet fighters that have both afterburners and thrust reversers are Begin and Tornado. Since Begin was stored in a shelter that imitates a van in a village, it is designed to be one size smaller than its competitors of the same era like Dworkin, and as a result, its cruising range has not improved much. In addition, a mechanism to tilt the vertical stabilizer to the left was adopted so that it could fit in the shelter installed in the mountains. This had been adopted for carrier-based aircraft, but for land-based aircraft, it is only big During 1964, construction of the first prototype aircraft commenced. On the 8th of February 1967, the first of and eventual seven prototypes conducted its maiden flight. Each of the seven prototypes were assigned different roles. Although the initial aircraft were focused on supporting the development of the initial production variants, the AJ-37. In April 1968, the Swedish government formally issued the authorization for manufacturing of the begin to proceed, issuing an order for 175 big that year. In May 1969, the big end made its first public appearance outside of Sweden at the Paris Air Show. On the 23rd of February 1971, the first production aircraft, an AJ-37 model, conducted its maiden flight. On the 21st of June 1971, the first production aircraft was delivered to the Swedish Air Force. Also in 1972, the first SK-37, an operational trainer variant with a staggered second canopy for an instructor, was delivered to the Sweden Air Force.
In 1968, Saab began work on the Begin's Maritime Reconnaissance and the Photo Reconnaissance variants. On the 21st of May 1973, the first prototype of SF-37 began a tactical reconnaissance variant featuring a modified nose to accommodate seven sensors conducted its maiden flight. While other variants entered production during the 1960s, Saab continued the development of the more capable, all-weather interceptor version of the aircraft, the JA-37. The JA-37 began featured various changes from its predecessor, including revisions to the design of the airframe, the use of the more powerful RM-8B power plant, a new generation of electronics being adopted, and the revised airframe configuration employed. The principal externally visible changes from most earlier variants were a tower telephone and the under-fuselage gun pack armament. The J-37, in addition to its principal aerial combat mission, also retained a secondary ground attack capability and was better suited to low-level operations. In November 1977, the first production J-37 began conducted its maiden flight. Operational trials for the new variants were conducted between January and December 1979, which resulted in the type being introduced to operational service that year. The engine used was a low bypass ratio type of fan engine, RM8A, AJ37, and RM8B, J37. These were a license-built variant of the Falcon Whitney JT-8D for commercial airliners such as the Boeing 727, modified by Svenska Frigmoto with an afterburner. This is because the export license of J-52, which is the base of JT-8D, was not obtained. Sabat originally wanted to the Rolls Royce Midway as the Begin's power plant. Owing to the cancellation of the Midway, the JT-8D was instead chosen as the Bell. Sabat originally wanted to the Rolls Royce Midway as the Begin's power plant. Owing to the cancellation of the Midway, the JT-8D was instead chosen as the basis of modification. The RM-8 became the second operational after burning tarp fan in the valve and also the first equipped with a thrust reversal. In the early 1960s, Saab recognized that advanced avionics need for a single-seat vehicle. The computer, called CK-37, 
center of calculator 37 in Swedish was the world's first airborne computers to use integrated circuits. Developed by the SAP, the CK37 was the integrating unit for all electric equipment to support the pilot. Performing functions such as navigation, flight control, and weapon aiming calculations. Servant Honeywell co-developed an automatic digital flight control system for the JA-37 Begin, which has been claimed to be the first such system in the production aircraft. By the mid-1980s, Swedish Begin fighter pilots using the predictive patterns of Ed Oki's SR-71 Blackbird's routine flights over the Baltic Sea, had managed to achieve radar work on with radar on the SR-71 on numerous occasions. <laughs> Despite heavily jamming from the SR-71, target elimination was maintained by feeding target location from ground base radars to the fire control computer in the Vigen. The Vigen is the only aircraft to get an acknowledged radar work on under SR-71. On November 25, 2005, the last frontline Vigen was officially retired by the Swedish Air Force. Wingpins F-17M kept several aircrafts in operation for electric warfare training against Kripen. The last of these begin flights took place in June 2007. This model is Swedish Air Force 4th Air Wings Begin number 52-4. Gemmed round wing also F-4 person, or simply F-4, is a former Swedish Air Force wing with the main base located at Are Olstendo Airport. Outside Ostelsund and Fursum in the middle of Sweden. The Sub-37 begins were served the wing for 20 years, 1984 to 2004. The F-4 wings were decommissioned in 2005. Today, we elect 172 Saab Begin J-37 Swedish Air Force 4th Air Wing Frozen Air Base, retired 2005, number 52-4, from Aviation 72. My airplane videos are available every Thursday. Hope to see you again soon. Subscribe. Break ready now.